Hi there, just wanted to introduce my presentation for the day. This is the Interactive Advanced Concept presentation for week four. Uh, this is the fireproof balloon experiment, and I wanted to present my hypothesis. Um, if the flame, if a flame from a standard lighter is applied to a balloon containing a good conductor, then the thin latex membrane will remain intact if the flame is applied briefly to an area of the balloon with water. And without further ado, here's the video. All right, hi everybody, good afternoon. Today we are doing the fireproof balloon experiment in Chem 125 for Dome. And uh, before I start popping balloons here, I'm gonna start by giving you a little backstory on what the experiment is about, thermochemistry, and specifically the conduction of heat um, and, and the conductor co conducting ability of different substances. So we know that water is a good conductor. What we're looking to compare here is that water is actually a better conductor than air. So from what we know, it takes four times the amount of heat to heat up the same volume of water as it does air. So if heat is applied to something, what we would see, if we could see uh, a little bit more of an infrared representation, is we would see a conductive current where the molecules of water are being exposed to heat. As they absorb heat, the molecules start moving, they will rise, cool, and then sink again. And this serves to create uh, a, a, a process that carries the heat away from the hotspot. And specifically, what this is, is a convective current. Um, this constant cooling process helps that thin layer of latex, uh, this thin membrane, stay cool. Some balloons are rubber, some are nylon. These are actually a pretty standard party pack from the grocery store, and I looked them up. They are actually a latex balloon. Um, so what, what we see here is that the, uh, the water, the cooler molecules of water, will actually be replacing the warmer molecules very, very quickly, and that process serves to keep the latex cool. So um, what does that mean? That means that I, uh, the hypothesis for this experiment is that if a flame is applied to a balloon containing a good conductor, in this case water, then the latex membrane will remain intact if the flame is applied to the area of the balloon with water. Okay, control number one is my balloon. It's a blue balloon, just air, regular lighter. There it is. Doesn't take too long. Um, okay, control, or not control, but here is the next demonstration. Pink balloon, about half filled with water. Pink lighter, and I can keep this flame on the balloon for quite a while. Starting to see some black carbon build up, some discoloration, and yet the balloon doesn't pop. Specifically, what we want to know is just to demonstrate that this balloon isn't made of any fancy material. So there we go. All right. I'm going to do another experiment. We now know that air is a poor conductor. Um, I also wanted to see how, if we could overcome the convective ability with a blowtorch. Okay, again, controlled balloon. Okay, really, really pretty quick. This is a balloon filled with all water. Balloon, but that served to uh, 
uh, reinforce the point of a smaller volume of water will warm up more quickly and become a poorer conductor. Okay, fireproof balloon experiment done. All right, there you guys have it. Um, I think too it's worth noting in that final balloon I may have tilted the balloon some so the blowtorch may have actually exposed um, or been exposed to part of the balloon that had air into it but either way it did reinforce our belief that the balloon would pop pretty quickly um, uh, when we had a flame applied to the the air portion because air is a poor conductor all right hope you guys have a great day bye